It's quesadilla time. We've got our tortilla shells. We've got our Mexican blend rice. We've got our uh, ground beef. We're also going to do some chicken quesadillas. I'm I'm going the, the easy route with uh, canned chicken. We've got our taco seasoning mix, cutting board, and the Blackstone is fired up. So let's get cooking. Ralph Mann, Man's Outdoors. We're going to do a full cook for you. Uh, it's real quick and easy though. Chicken quesadillas and beef quesadillas. Lots of cheese. So let's get started. Be sure if you found anything helpful, if you like it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for us. It sure does help. Black top is good and hot. So let's go ahead and go down with the meat. We're going to get it cooked up and we'll clean it off and start building. There's our hamburger. I did drain the water off of the chicken. And I am taking the easy route. Instead of using some of our processed chicken, I thought I'd just make this quick. Keep the beef on one side and the chicken on the other. And this will be done in just a moment. The chicken was already cooked in the can, so I'm just warming it up and uh, kind of breaking it apart a little bit so that we can put it down on the quesadillas. So let's go ahead and get the seasoning on it. And I'm gonna do use an entire packet. Now if you're doing beef or something, in the kitchen you know you'd have to add water and let it soak and all of those things but on the blackstone i just hit it with some water we're going to toss it around really good and get it seasoned up right if i need to add more water we'll do that but we don't have to wait on it to cook down that's looking good right there Get the seasoning on every bit of it before we start building. Now I'm just going to let this simmer for a little while and we will finish up on the beef and we'll get it seasoned. Chicken, I've turned this burner off. I've slid it over to the side and we're just going to let it stay there warming. Beef looks done. So now it is time to put some seasoning on it. We're going to do the same thing. Put the seasoning all over it. And then we are going to hit it with some water. And mix her up good. Now the beef still has some of the beef fat going on, so there we go. That's the color we're looking for. And I'm going to spread it out and it'll dry some of that excess grease out because we don't want to put the grease on the case of this. Just let it cook down a little bit. Hear the sizzle from the water. And then we'll get it moved to the side and we will start building. All right, we're going to throw about four to six of these out here. Get them heated up. Then we'll flip them and start adding the cheese and the meat. Well, we'll going to have to rearrange a little bit, but I'll make that fit. I'm going to actually build it 
and then I'm going to place one of these on top instead of doing the fold which you would typically do but I'm going to do these and then I'm going to cut them into quarters and uh, I'm actually going to be taking these to church for our youth and kids on Wednesday night and so I'm just going to get these done up pretty quick yeah that's heating up good and we'll start building with a little chicken well I don't know what I'm thinking we got to have the cheese first don't we all right we've got the cheese in hand these are looking good getting nice and soft want them to get good and warm so that uh, they will melt the cheese a little bit faster so let's get it going this way I can build a larger section without having to just do a small and then a quick fold I'm going to load up three of these then we'll put our meat topping on it and then we will add some cheese on top to glue the next piece on then we'll have cheese with the meat and then cheese and the top so that's looking pretty good let's do a little beef here first don't want to do a ton of it I want to make it last spread that out a little bit I probably ought to go get me a spoon but then that would be the walk of shame having to go back into the house and not having what I needed to begin with so we'll, we'll make these this way to begin with spread that out a little bit I'm planning on making at least 10 full size quesadillas probably uh, five uh, beef and five chicken so we're doing the beef here first I want to make sure I've got enough beef to, to get to, to five but I think I do spread that out a little bit more you want to have a little bit in every bite these look pretty good all right now we'll go back with some cheese again on top and I do have another bag of cheese if necessary because the cheese was melting good on the bottom we're gonna do this and this will be the glue that helps hold it all together yeah can't ever have too much cheese all right now quick and easy we're just going to take and put the hot side down put the hot side down I don't have it all folded up wrong there we go and the hot side down we're just going to press it in just a little bit and then we are going to give it a flip make some room for, for flipping and just like that let it heat up a little bit more on the other side for the uh, cheese oh yeah that one that one looks looks really good had a little bit of ingredients on the fallout but you don't get as much ingredient fallout if you do the fold but that's all right this will make them faster for me and that is almost done I will flip that again and then we will take these off that one go just a little bit longer 
get a little bit more brown on it. The wind's blowing and it's blowing from this side all the way across, so it's this side is staying hotter than this side is. But yeah, that's looking good. All right. I'm going to take this one off. We'll carry it over here to the cutting board. And just give it a cut. Well, sorry about the shadow. And take a look at that. All nice and gooey and cheesy. I'm going to have to eat one, one of those soon. Cut a little of that out. All right. Now we're just going to put it on the... We've got a cookie sheet. We're just going to load these up. And I'm going to get the others off and we'll do the same. The beef are done. So now we'll do the same thing with the chicken. Oh. Get the cheese on it, on three of them, just like we did before. And then we will load the chicken, and then we'll add more cheese. Oh yeah. And I am sweating standing over this Blackstone. Sun is out. I don't know how hot it is, but looks like some of the cheese is melting in the bag so just need to be liberal with the cheese get it all on there good oh this one's a little lacking in the cheese side can't have a chicken cheese quesadilla without enough cheese and now we'll get this bag out of your way yeah, that's looking pretty good. Now let's get some chicken on here. Make sure that there's a little chicken in every bite. Doing the same thing, we're gonna make five full size of the chicken. And uh, then we'll cut them up into quarters because as I said, these are going to church, to the kids and youth. Well, we've got some adults too. We got to eat. So I'm going to get these fixed up. And we'll hit it with cheese. And that's looking good. So again, we're just going to go with the hot side down. Let these go just a second, and I'm going to flip them, and we'll be ready to cut these. That's a pretty good looking chicken and cheese quesadilla. We've got a whole pan full. We also have a pan full of the beef and cheese, so I'm going to give it a try. Ralph Mann, Mann's Outdoors. This sure looks good, smells good, but I've got to try it. Hmm. Good taco seasoning, melty cheese, and even the canned chicken is pretty good. If you found anything helpful, you liked it, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, God bless.